welcome back to Zeke's Lunchbox. So this vlog, I'm trying to do something a little bit different. Normally I have like a time lapse specifically dedicated to a new artwork and then I keep the vlogs separate. I just want to mix it up and like combine those two things. I like to mix it up a little bit, you know? I am finding that I'm running out of material to put into my vlogs because it is pretty repetitive. So that's why we have this video. Before we get into it though, I just want to let you guys know, I will be at Supernova again this year in Melbourne, just like last year. This will be my second year doing it. So this time around, uh, I've weaned off from Rel and I don't have somebody to help me set up, but I'm a big girl now, so I can do it all on my own. Yeah, doing that this year, I'm excited because this is the first year where I made some other art friends who will be showing at the artist alley as well. Please follow on my Instagram if you want to know where my table is. I'd tell you right now but two weeks away and we still don't have a floor plan so follow my Instagram so you know where to find me but yeah I'll have all the information and the dates and everything up on screen right now. If you want to come and say hello I'd love to see you guys there. It was awesome meeting a couple of you last year so so yeah, come along again. If you came last year, I'd love to see you again, see how you've been. And this year I'll have a whole table to myself. And also I'll have a bunch of stuff that isn't currently available on my shop. So lots of reasons to pop by. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. I think it's something that's kind of timely. Uh, let's get into the vlog. This is the February vlog, even though it's literally the 11th of February. I, and back from my holiday. If you don't follow me on other social media platforms or you're not a patron, you may not have known that. Not like it matters, whatever. But I went to Thailand and now I'm rejuvenated and I'm ready to actually start my year because I was just waiting all of January to go on this holiday. I felt like January was a really weird limbo month. To be honest, January is just a weird long month anyway. I don't think anyone gets anything done. I think everybody puts forth their goals and they do that for like two weeks and then the rest of it they're like F my goals. So I posted a art critique video that did pretty well. The outward numbers that you guys see, it just looks like average numbers, but the watch time was really good and I also got a really good reception on it, which I knew I would just by observing trends and things that are a bit more interactive. That sort of stuff does pretty well on YouTube. Uh, I will probably be posting a lot more art critique videos. The way the homepage works, hate to break the fourth wall, but the way YouTube works, they basically, as soon as you have a really successful video, uh, they YouTube usually tells you and they usually say we encourage doing more videos like this so we can constantly recommend you to the people who watched it in their homepage. So there will be a lot more art critique videos. If you would like to be featured in an art critique video, you can head over to my Patreon, become a patron over there and we discuss and you can submit your art in the Facebook group or email me over there. So just want to keep you up to date with what's going on there. But in the meantime, Ultimately, I'd really like to bang out a tarot card a week. I think what is actually achievable is like one tarot card every 10 days. In that 10 days, I have to do like design work videos, blah, blah, blah. It's just that, yeah, if I could get two and a half or three cards done a month, that would be really good and I'm really on top of it. So right now I am working on the chariot card, which uh, I sketched up a bunch of cards uh, in January. I still have three more cards that need to be sketched up. So I will get to those eventually. At the moment, I'm just really sick of sketching on my iPad and I really am desperate to paint. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm gonna keep painting. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I mean, at least it makes sense. Like a baby pit. Ooh, like, I don't know what kind of strange conversations the two of them have because they both seem like fairly new. Babies and the sauce. Like, she didn't inspire this makeup look. Oh. Like,
Good morning, everyone. Um, I slept awfully last night, so I'm really foggy this morning, but I feel like I'm in a really good place with this piece at the moment. I was feeling rusty when I was painting initially because I haven't been painting quite some time since I went on holiday. But uh, yesterday I was like finally sinking my teeth into the piece and I feel like I'm in a good groove with it. I don't feel like painting just yet, but at the moment I'm doing um all my color maps color maps for my tarot card pieces and I haven't colored in all the sketches that I've done in January so I'm going to I'm gonna do that this morning tinker around with um another piece just because I'm feeling really gross right now so I just I need like a simple task uh so yeah that's what I'm gonna do this morning and I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and then eventually I'll get to painting Hello everyone. So I'm still going on with the piece, still very early days to be honest. Done the background and I did put a little bit more deepness in the pink on the sides just because it was looking a little bit pale. And when I was referencing my uh, color map, I just really liked how warm the pinks were. So just did that now uh, off camera because kind of boring but now I'm going to focus on the face and I'm really hoping that I can finish the harpy today and then hopefully do the staff and all the stars as well I've been feeling very unmotivated the last couple of days mostly because I don't know when you go on holiday well for me anyway I get really out of whack and then I was sick and then also uh, I've had some like family issues as well so just the last week was a weird limbo week. Yeah, now that it's Monday I'm gonna get into it and in the next couple of days I'm gonna finish this piece. Okay, but first I'm gonna down this water and tea because that's just my obsession. We love tea, we worship tea. everyone we are at the home stretch of this piece almost there the horse is almost done I just have to finish up the hair on this one and then add a couple more stars finish the uh, scepter uh, of the harpy and then we're done so today is my last day yeah next time you'll see me it'll be finished I've been completely ignoring all other responsibilities that I have had to uh, attend to, but that's just kind of the way it needs to go. You know, I can't do it all at the same time. So I'm thinking of making a big catch up video with tarot so I can really delve into what cards have been done, what our plan is. Uh, it's been a year since I did a big update uh, with Julian last year, we did a q and A. I've obviously been chatting about it here and there in tarot related videos and vlogs, but uh, yeah, I don't know. If it interests you guys, let me know in the comments below if you're interested in like a tarot update, uh, cause I think people are still not quite sure or they missed that information somewhere. I think it'll be also really good to show you exactly where I'm up to because there's quite a lot of sketches that haven't gone online yet. Uh, I am three sketches away from finishing the whole major arcana, so it's pretty exciting. Uh, I've also, let me flip you around. 
I also found uh, my other original tarot card samples from 2018. These are from 2019, these three in the black and white one. And yeah, it's just really nice seeing them all together. I thought that I didn't have any of the original samples left, but it turns out I did. And it's just nice seeing the progression of them all. Uh, I think especially my skills from like one year to the other, it's honestly crazy how much you can improve in a year. I don't know. I think the tarot card project has evolved so much in the last couple of years and I've grown, uh, yeah, anyway. I will chat about it in a video if that's something you guys want me to discuss. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed mixing the two like time lapse and vlog formula together. Yeah, let me know if you enjoy that formula or if you'd prefer me to still keep the time lapses. I just know that people tend to get a little bit bored in the time lapses, so that's why I haven't been doing very many lately. But if that's a video that you guys enjoy, let me know. And obviously I'll do that for you. Before we head out, I've got three things to let you know. One supernova i will be at supernova the very first weekend of march in melbourne australia all the details are up on screen if you want to join me and have a look buy some stuff say hello i will be filming a different video then so you may be featured in that video if you want and two make sure you head over to my instagram and twitter and facebook if you want to see what i'm up to in between videos if you want to support this channel and my art you can head over and get something from my shop at zeke's lunchbox Com, or you can head over to my Patreon, uh, see what we're doing over there as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you remember to like and subscribe. Bye! <laughs>